Welcome guys, today we're going to review a little bit of slope working with a graph. Um, this first little section hopefully will go super quickly, reviewing slope from a graph. So as you can see we have a graph here um, with points A and B and we remind ourselves that the slope is the ratio of the rise over the run and that's what we're going to kind of start looking at. Um, so quickly looking at this, the ratio of the rise from A to B, it looks like the rise is going up one, two, three, three units. And the run is going over one, two, three, four, five, five units. So the ratio of the rise to the run is going to be rise three, run five, which is a slope of three fifths. As we look at the second example, uh, we can tell that the slope of this line is actually falling downwards, so we would expect a slightly different answer. Um, even though I use the word rise up here for, um, for the slope, in reality this one is falling. It is falling down two units, and you can see that it fell down two. Now, to show that it fell down, I'm going to use a negative sign, so it went down two units, but it still went to the right and that's one, two, three, four, five, six units. So now maybe that makes sense why I used positive and negative signs. So the ratio here is going to be the rise is negative two. So of course it fell down and then went over six. Well, I know a negative over a positive is negative, And two divided by six is one third. Okay, that review of slope was really to help us get to our Algebra 1, our Math 1 part here, talking about parallel and perpendicular. So here I have two lines that are seemingly parallel, and in fact they are, and I want to check out their two slopes. So first I'm going to find the slope of AB, and the slope of AB is going to go up, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going up 4 and over 2, so that's a rise of 4 and a run of 2. So that's 4 over 2, which is just 2. And then on the other side of that, I'm going to find the slope of CD. Now CD starts here, so I've got a little overlap, but it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 2. So in the same exact manner, it also went up 4 and over 2. And I think it's very clear to see the relationship between parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. Now on the other side of that, there's another special line, a relationship between line, and those are called perpendicular lines. So here I have two lines that are perpendicular. Um, they meet at a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to determine the relationship between theirs. Again, I'm going to start with the slope of AB. So from A to B, it looks like the slope of this is rising 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it runs 1, 2, 3, 4. So the slope of AB is going to be a positive 5 divided by a positive 4, which doesn't really simplify. I'll just leave it as 5 fourths. On the other hand, if I try to find the slope of CA, so I start at C and go over to A, this one is definitely going down, oops, and then over. So how much did it go down? It went down 1, 2, 3, 4. That's minus 4, and over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you recognize a lot of the same numbers. This one is a minus 4 and a positive 5. A lot of the same numbers here, but you definitely get a different answer. So again, this one doesn't simplify, but I've got negative 4 fifths. And that's where we find our relationship. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. In other words, if one is positive, the other one is negative, and then you flip the numerator and the denominators, change spots. So another way of calling that is a negative flip.